York police are calling it the largest methamphetamine production operation they have ever seen. A four-month-long investigation called Project Discard has led to multiple arrests, two large laboratories, and a massive dump of toxic waste. While prepping their hazmat suits in an East Willemberry driveway, York police knew they were walking into something huge, one of two toxic meth labs with a high risk of explosion or fire, housing $5 million worth of drugs and hazardous chemicals. The scale of these two production sites, we would classify as super labs. These are not small user-based operations. These two sites were capable of producing into the hundreds of kilograms of methamphetamine and were in fact drug factories. It was the culmination of an investigation that began last November when more than 100 garbage bags smelling of strong chemicals were found along with plastic canisters marked as corrosive. This feeds into a lot bigger criminal networks and organizations and those people are involved in the trafficking, the distribution, exportation locally nationally and internationally. Eight people have been charged and an arrest warrant has been issued for 34-year-old Van Truong Do of Toronto, who may have traveled to Vietnam. Police are convinced they are an organized group of individuals charged with production and possession of a controlled substance for the purpose of trafficking and money laundering. Earlier in the program, we told you about Project Discard, a York Regional Police operation that led to a $5 million seizure of drugs from meth lab operations. So, City News did some digging. We found that in 2016, there was 550 kilograms of meth seized in Canada. That's a 330% increase from the year before. So, that raises the question. Why is so much being produced? Among this population, we have seen hospitalizations in Canada associated with meth increase uh, significantly, especially in Western Canada. We also see the same justice indicators, possession, seizures, all those charges have also increased uh, quite significantly in the last five or more years in Canada. So in terms of the availability, it's always challenging to know whether does the demand come first and then the availability meet that demand or does the availability come and then the demand rises to meet the availability? According to Stats Canada, meth possession incidents have steadily risen over the last decade. From 2010, the numbers have actually gone up by a whopping 590% to nearly 9,000 cases in 2017. While some might think that the arrests and drug seizures in York Region means that there's a big problem in the GTA, that's not necessarily the case. There are four other cities and areas in Canada that have bigger possession rates. Vancouver, Edmonton and Saskatoon have a very big problem, along with Kitchener-Cambridge-Waterloo as well.